morning everyone, it's PresleyActiveGames.com here and to, I just finished eating breakfast and I am looking currently at the uh, theater directory on the newspaper that we were um, dyeing Easter eggs on, which was super fun. I'm going to be at a homeschool co-op most of today so there won't be too much vlogging of me because I don't really take my camera there, but it will still, um, well I still have writing class and hopefully we'll do some stuff to put on the vlog else, um, elsewhere. Is that what you would use there? I don't know. English is confusing. <laughs> I will see you after school. Okay, so I'm back from school. The lighting's super weird, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I'm in the car on my way back. And it was super fun. Um, I really enjoyed hanging out with my friends, as well as I got a really short like um, ukulele accompan accompaniment music sheet, which is just like G C C C G G G or something. Like that. It's like really um, basic. So I'm gonna practice that, um, and we're gonna be doing a recital in a couple of weeks, which is super cool. Um, I have to make sure that I'm gonna be there for it. <laughs> But if I am, I'm going to play a couple songs on ukulele as well because that's uh, the primary instrument that I'm focusing on right now. Okay, you ready? Yes. All right, we need help. Oh boy. Whoa. We do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> With what? With prioritizing the list of people that we want to try and talk to at Denver Comic Con. Oh, Billy Piper? It's way. Billy Piper. Billy Piper. Uh, you, really? You think? Well, I mean, that's a good... And Millie Bob, oh my gosh, yes. See? You see what I'm saying? All right. Billy Piper needs to be on the list. Chotomate. Um, Chotomate. Chotomate. Okay. All right. Important. So, we have, this is our system. I'll tell you part of our system. Part of our system's a secret. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Part of, like, you don't want to get too many interviews. Right. Right? Because so otherwise you, you're busy and you can't. You get really off. slammed and maybe you can't even work schedules out. And the last thing you want to do is have someone agree to an interview and then you can't do it. We, we never want to get in that yeah. situation, right? So we ask, you know, a handful of people and then we wait until we get rejections or just totally get like no response or something. Mm -hmm. And then we ask a few more people and then we ask a few more people, right? So until we, we have don't, a good until event. we have the number of people we want, which is like three or four, like it's not many. Right. We, for over the three days of the con, we really just want a few people. Um, you know, like two a day is a ton. Like that seems totally reasonable, but doing all the prep work and getting there and making this, so it's, it's a lot. You can't right? like go out and cosplay and enjoy the con. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're working. Like at that point you're just doing work, right? So uh uh we only ask a few people at a time, we wait till we get responses or don't get responses, and then we move on and we ask a few more people. So it's really important the order in which we ask people, right? Mm -hmm. So it's easy to look at the list and say, okay, here are these ten people that we would love to talk to. I'm gonna send an email to all ten people or their 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 managers or the publicists or whoever. Mm -hmm. And uh and, but then the problem is like those, all 10 of them may say yes. Like I wish that was a problem that we had, right. but, but like maybe that happens and then you're like, oh no, okay, well never mind. No. I can't talk to you because I'm talking to this person. Like, you know, I don't want to do that. So the, we at least putting them in buckets, mm. yeah, but really kind of rank ordering them. So I'm curious what you guys think, right? Right. I know we, we'll, we'll see what you think. I don't even know what you think. So we'll, you can go to the Denver Comic Con. It's a... Uh, Go to all guests and let this film Yeah, just do it. It's actually easier to do a Google search for Denver Comic Con because it's popcultureclassroom.org slash DCC. Right. There's not like a Denver Comic Con. You may be able to go to denvercomiccon.com and it works, but I don't know. Um, if you do, it redirects you to popcultureclassroom.org, which is a really awesome little charity. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here are some of the people. You can go look and see people we don't name to see if there's people that you know that we don't even really know very well. Um, and then we can discover And then, yeah, you can let us know that we should check out their work and, and see who should we do. So I'm going to throw out the people I think, mm. all right? And then you go. So you look as I'm looking through here. Mm. And then you can come back and say if I miss anybody. So uh, Billy Piper. Billy Piper. Is who is important. who? Who is Rose Tyler? Rose Tyler from Doctor Who. Does Rose have a middle name? Probably. I don't know. Presley's uh, first companion mm -hmm. uh, from watching Doctor Who and stuff and, and, and read her book. Mm -hmm. um, really big fans of Billy Piper, so yes. that, that would be good. And have you, I feel like we've tried with her before. And she canceled. She canceled, she canceled being at the con? Yes. Or, yeah. okay. Yeah, she canceled. She was supposed to be at Denver Comic Con maybe last year, mm -hmm. and she ended up canceling. Um, or maybe it was two years ago, actually, when, or it was, was it when you interviewed Karen Gillen? That you were maybe going to interview yes. both of them at the same time? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think she was supposed to be here that time, and she canceled. Um, uh, okay. Number two, Bonnie Wright. Yes. That who was is she? Ginny Weasley. Ginny Weasley. Who from? I called Ginny very long, very long time. <laughs> okay. Ginny Weasley from yeah. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, Caleb McLaughlin. Who is Lucas from Stranger Things. Lucas from Stranger Things. Uh, I'm going to say... 
Felicia Day. Chop chop. Yeah, Felicia Day. Oh, God. Who is Felicia Day? Yes. <laughs> From Felicia Day. And we've been, uh, we've tried to get her in we, we, yeah. we know Felicia Day a little bit, and we know one of a some little. of Felicia Day's friends. Yes. We sort of have some collisions. We've met her at VidCon. We've come really close, and so we're hoping things work out. And she's had a baby, which is awesome. And we've read her. We've all read we've her book. Read her book. All, we all, all three of us. And there's this really weird. There's a Felicia Day, like a lot of collisions with Felicia Day. Oddly enough, like so she was at the University of Texas when I was at the University of Texas. Really? Yeah. And so she was talking about spending time in the computer lab there at the University of Texas, and I guarantee you we were in the computer lab at the same time. Because I was in there, and she was talking about like the time that she was doing it, which was some of the early like web days, and, and like I was there. I built one of the first websites that used graphics at the University of Texas. That's so because cool! Because it switched, it was right after Mozilla came out, right? So Lynx was this old browser, and it was just text-based. So surfing the internet used to be text-based. I can't you, imagine that. You would your browser. It was a browser called Links, and you would type in your URL, and you would go to a website, and it was just text. And you could, you know, there were links that you could go to, but it was all just text. Right. And then Mozilla came out, and you could put pictures, and it was amazing, right? So cool. And so I built this website that was a fan page for the movie Three O'clock High, which is my favorite movie. Um, and I got like a press kit, like I sent off, and they sent. I still have it. I found that downstairs when we were cleaning up there. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's a press kit with all these press photos, and I had to take them to this metal image, this uh, medical imaging laboratory to get them digitized. Like it was a crazy, like this stuff didn't exist at the time. And so uh, you can't just download. No, it was crazy, right? And what I had to go through to build this page was nutty, but it was one of the first websites that used uh, images. Mm -hmm. At the University of Texas on their servers and stuff, so I guarantee you, Felicia Day and I like cross paths in the in the in the lab and stuff. So cool. would love to talk to Felicia. Day. I, I should interview yeah. Felicia Day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Gatton. Gatton Matarazzo. I don't know how to say his last name. Matarazzo. I just know him as Gatton. And so who is he? He is Dustin from Stranger Things. Stranger Things. And we have pudding in the fridge, and I could only think right. of him uh -huh. exclusively. Uh, let's see who else is big. On Millie Bobby list. Brown. Yeah, I love Blue right Radio, but that probably wouldn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah, Millie, Millie Bobby Brown. Who is who? Who is Eleven from Stranger Things? Eleven for Friends. And also, just generally a really cool person. I think she may be the top of my list. Yeah. But it's really hard to say, but so I think she cool. may be number one. I really want to try and do uh, like a group interview, like we did with the Dark Matter people with the Stranger Things. Yeah, I was wondering about that. That may be something that they propose, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> she's really awesome too, but I don't think you know who she is. Uh, Nathan Fillin, which would be really good, which would be awesome. <laughs> Um, but I don't think you know who you don't know who he is. I can learn who these people are. Well, yeah, he's he would be good to know because he's like Firefly, right? Oh, yeah. And he's you Firefly. should watch. Yeah, I watched the first episode of Firefly. Yeah, um, Stanley Tucci would be pretty awesome, but you don't know who he is. I can learn. He's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, he's, he's done a, a lot of work. He's a really author, remarkable author. Okay. Um, okay, let's do authors real quick. Okay, so that's all right. Did, did I miss anybody that you wanted to jump at? I don't. Billy Piper, Bonnie Wright. The kids from Stranger Things, Felicia Day, oh, Elijah Dushku. That's what she would be pretty good too. Um, is that everybody? No, there's people down here. Um, well, no, but I said the kids from Stranger Things. I think that's oh, all um, the Stranger Things people. Oh, yeah, right? no, 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 no. Oh, Nathan Fillion. Yes. Would be good. Whom I also don't know. So I think he is in uh, Doctor. What's the Doctor Horrible's single, single long blog? blog? Well, my friend's just a really big fan of that. Yeah, I think he may be in it. Which would be cool. He's a good author, really. I don't know that we're going to know many of these people. They don't have the same kind of authors list as Salt Lake City. Um, oh, Scott Sinter's going to be here. Oh, my God. I don't know who that is. I love this guy. So, Scott Sigler, <clears throat> total aside here. So, Scott Sigler was one of them. There, there was a trend. I don't know if people are still doing it as much. But there was, a, there was a thing that took off a while back that was podcasting your book one chapter at a time. So, like, as an author, maybe even as you're writing the book, but certainly after it's done, you do these podcasts. And so it's like an audio book, basically, right? But you you get it downloaded one chapter at a time mm -hmm. over the course of several weeks, right? And Sigler was one of the main guys that did it. He was, like, the king of it. And he writes these horror books mm -hmm. that are really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, yeah, one of them is about like an intergalactic sort of football league kind of thing. One of them is about like this about uh, this really cool, uh, that one's not as much horror. One of them is about this really cool alien parasite that sort of comes down and attaches to people and turns them into killers and stuff. Like, he, he's a really, really good writer. And I'm a really big fan of his, like as a person, as a writer. I had no idea he was going to be here. Uh, that's crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I definitely want to meet him. Um, but I don't know that like you'll, you don't have time to read. An entire uh, book. One of his books, or listen to one of his books. Uh, it's really good, though. That's so cool. Oh, John Scalzi. Oh, cool. 
How cool is that? Okay, so this, awesome. is, this is one of the guys that uh, comes to NerdCon stories. <laughs> um, and Old Man's War is actually a really good book, too. That was one. I think that may be on uh, Hank's reading list. Okay. And I have the audio book for that. Okay, I take, I take back everything that I just said about Denver Comic Con and authors. <laughs> <clears throat> they have some really strong authors. Um, but I don't see, like, you know, Bonnie Burton or... Oh, hey, there's the guy with the Wonder Woman tattoos. Oh, yeah! Yeah, he might be fun to talk to. We should learn a little bit more about him and see. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Look at the Denver Comic Con website. Those are yes. the people. The people we just talked to are people we're talking about doing. We need to put them in order so that I can start reaching out to people and see what right. we can do. Yeah? That's going to be hard. All right. All right, so we just finished doing our telescope thing. Uh, but it, it's definitely pretty late. So I'm going to hang out with Domino first. Hi, Katie. Hi. And then I'm going to go to bed. But yeah, I'm, um, the telescope stuff was super duper awesome. We looked at Jupiter and we tried to take a few photos. And I got to see how Dad has been doing his photos of Jupiter. As well as I got, um, I learned a bit about positioning the um, telescope and aligning it and uh, swapping lenses in and out, which is really useful for me when I want to, because I want to start using the telescope on my own without like, breaking everything as well as the new season of our who starts tomorrow today when you're watching this tomorrow for me and i'm so excited about it um like i can't even comprehend it i've only seen billy for about like maybe minute of screen time and i'm already so in love with her she seems like such an amazing and exciting character and I'm so excited to see how her first episode is no assuming it's her first episode it's probably her first episode um, goes and how the rest of the season goes it shows up in um, on Monday for me or I, for you too in um, the big feeder so we might see it there and we might watch it here and we might do both I don't know but it's the first they had no Doctor Who at all last year. I mean, they had the Christmas special, but they didn't really have anything. So, it's really nice to be back and watching Doctor Who and having it come out regularly again. But, yeah, that was our day. Um, I was super excited. Do you know, do you agree? Yeah. It was a good day. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.